Sometimes when you're feeling sad, the only thing that will help is a bear hug. For more than 20 years, 22 pieces to each bear, a special group of volunteers <laughs> has laughed and cried. So precious. Making memory bears. This was his favorite shirt. I gave it to him. In November, Katie Morneau lost her husband, Dickie, to brain cancer. Tell me about Dickie. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that can actually go on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Dickie was um, quite a character. Volunteers take cherished garments and turn them into comfort bears. I feel that it helps people. I really do think it is, they need it. 95-year-old widow Luana Schwartz has sewn hundreds of bears. They're given freely, and some of us know exactly what these people are going through. 57 Chevy there? 56. 56 Chevy. Chevy. Mm -hmm. What a cool dude. This is Maria Juarez's way of remembering Alfredo. I lost my husband um, almost five years ago, and I make this one out of my husband's shirt. So I feel really, I feel comfort when I have this at home. They have so much personality. They do. I'm pretty proud of them. <laughs> Denise Kelly is Sharp's program coordinator for volunteer services. I was sewer myself, and um, probably the first bear that I sewed was after my father died. They're beautiful. Katie Morneau now has three bears made out of her husband's shirts. I ordered one for, for myself for his daughter and for his sister so we could have memories. This was my favorite shirt. Katie <laughs> jokes so that much. plaid was <laughs> Dickie's favorite coat. I gave it to him. <laughs> and what would he think about a memory bear? Well, he'd probably rather be wearing the shirt, <laughs> but I think he would really understand the sentiment. This is gonna be so, so sweet to have the memory to hold on to. And I really thank you guys for doing this. In the Zevely Zone. They're all just so cute. My new family. <laughs> Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.